Hey blog watchers, Steve Petrusky here with the Lander team and the Heritage Group in Flagstaff, Arizona. Thank you so much for taking some time to watch this blog. Today's topic is going to be why does it always seem like home repairs cost a thousand dollars? Before we get into that, I do want to point out a couple things here on our website. If you are looking to purchase a home uh, towards the end of 2018 into 2019, click this button here. If you are looking to possibly sell your home and would love to receive a free home evaluation, click this button here and we'd be glad to help you out. Now, I don't know about you, but it always seems like when we are selling a property or helping a, a seller, it always seems like repairs are costing about $1,000 no matter what it is. Well, there's a couple of things that I want to point out here that might benefit you uh, so that you don't have to spend so much money in that. The first is save for a rainy day. Uh, you recognize that the average seller, homeowner will spend about $2,000 a year in repair costs and maintenance on their own property. Unfortunately for us as homeowners, uh, a lot of those repairs come as unexpected and not really wanted. So we don't ever expect that our AC is going to break. We don't really expect that we're going to have a plumbing leak or maybe the hot water heater goes out. And so what we encourage you to do throughout the year is set up some sort of repair account where you can slowly put some money into that, whether that's $50 a month, $100 a month. But if it's going to cost about $2,000 a year for maintenance, you want to maybe break that up so that on that unexpected repair that has to happen, you're already ready. And then if you already have that money in account and you go to sell your property, no matter what the, the repairs are going to be when you're going to sell, uh, you'll be ready for that. The second thing would be maybe take a little bit of time and enjoy being a homeowner. Maybe do a little DIY. That, that repair costs of $1,000 could simply turn out to be really maybe $15, $30, $100 with just simply buying the parts and watching a YouTube video. So if you're like me, you're not really handy. Uh, you know how to hang pictures on a wall, but you don't really know how to fix plumbing or electrical. But there are people who create videos on YouTube that will help you uh, do some of those. So that's another way to save money is to maybe try to do some things DIY. Now the last one, number three, would be to negotiate smart. Anytime that you receive a quote on a repair, it's always valuable to go out and receive another quote. Get two to three different quotes that will help you decide whether or not you're getting the best deal. Because no matter what somebody's willing to pay, there's always going to be somebody that's willing to pay it cheaper. Now be mindful. What you pay for is what you get. So always think about that. Think about the reputation of the people that you're getting quotes from. Also, the other thing that you could really look at doing is uh, making sure that you hire a professional. Uh, not only when you hire a professional are they going to come out and do the job, but remember you're paying for their certificates, you're paying for their insurance, you're paying for maybe future repairs of them coming back and fixing some of those things. So just be mindful as you go to repair some things, negotiate. As you get into towards the end of 2018, maybe you're getting ready to turn on your heater, make sure that you are also uh, point number four, make sure you're also thinking ahead. What are some things that we can do now that maybe will be pre preventative maintenance for the future? So as you get into possibly selling or preparing for this next year, a couple of those, those things will help you in saving some money in the long run. Again, thanks so much for watching this quick blog and I hope you have a great day.